leaders in every generation to be world changers. And we have a very special group of leaders God has sent to us this weekend. Marcus and Joni, the Daystar Singers, their team, their network. It began years ago. Marcus was traveling. Marcus and Joni is evangelist. God put it on their heart to start a TV station. Never underestimate the power of a seed. Praise God. Because they started that station. God bless them. Save my life. And now it's one of the largest networks in the world. I mean, changing the lives of people all around the world. Amen. And he is an amazing leader. He's a great person. And I am so grateful. I mean, I know the kinds of demands they have on their time uh, and the, the kinds of things that are pulling them in this direction, that direction. And I'm so grateful that they're here this weekend at Cathedral of Faith in San Jose. And I want you Woo, to San Jose! Don't give up on your dream. Well, thank you. You are so kind and so gracious. God bless you. You may be seated. It is an honor for Joni and me and the Daystar Singers to be in San Jose, California. Woo! The Cathedral of Faith. I have loved the Foreman family for many years. And it is such a delight for me to be here. Boy, I sense it. The presence of the Lord here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody just slip your hand up and receive. Yes. You I receive you, Lord. Lord. Receive. He's here right now. He's here. He loves you. He loves you. He really does. But just before I preach today, I want to show you a little three-minute video about today's star. Our team edited this, and it won an Emmy Award, which is the highest award in secular television. As far as I know, Day Star is the only Christian TV network to ever win an Emmy Award. Yeah. So let's dim the lights. Let's watch together, and I'll be right back to deliver the message today. Amen. Experience. We have the greatest message on the face of the earth. Changes. Jesus came and preached a new kingdom. Yeah. This is our time. This is our day. Experience Daystar. But the divine light of God has illuminated the human spirit and set a person on fire. Yeah. International Ministries. Award-winning original programming. Contemporary network packaging, the biggest names, and more live events than any of its kind. From Atlanta, New York, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, Miami, Jakarta, Rio de Janeiro, Beijing, every city in America, and every country in the world. Colombia, India, Pakistan, Venezuela, Honduras, Peru, on cable, internet, satellite, direct TV, dish network, and mobile phones. Moscow, Sydney, Singapore, India. Estonia, Finland, France, Germany. Every people, every time, every nation. Daystar is the fastest growing space network in the world. They're awesome. They're awesome. State of the art facilities offer one of the largest special effects studios. Amen. Praise God for this network. A top of the line digital console, two audio suites, and an in house recording studio. We've gone to regular effort to create something of excellence. Daystar's on air quality is excellent, and faith based television will never be the same. Children, teens, today's generation, with over 100 national and international programs, That's right. combining the biggest names of faith and entertainment, Daystar is tearing down the walls of denomination and race. That's right. Vision driven, not memory driven. Music, movies, events, inspiration, and it doesn't stop there. Groundbreaking original programming is what we're known for. Marcus and Joni, Reflections, Gospel Music Showcase, Woo! Sound, and Joni are just some of the standout hits in Daystar's award-winning lineup. 
Today's headlines, hard-hitting relevant topics, and much, much more. And now, Daystar is not only the exclusive 24-7 Christian network on hot yeah. in Israel, but is also on every major U.S. cable system and carried on the largest pay TV platforms across Europe, Asia, New Zealand, and Africa. Keep watching Daystar. Keep it's also free with a digital antenna. Than you've ever been before. You're in the right place. The Holy Spirit is drawing people. God will never disappoint. He always causes you to try. I am who God says I am. He's awesome. I can do what God says I can do. We are the army of God, and we are more than conquerors in Christ. Entertaining high-quality programs, award-winning originals, every multimedia platform, and more live events from around the world. Yeah! It's about to change. Praise God for Daystar TV. I love Experience it. it. It brings Jesus into my home and every single day. Of the glory. Well, if you've just tuned in today, watching on Daystar across America and around the world, I am standing in the pulpit of Cathedral of Faith. Woo! In State, California. Yeah! Under the leadership of Pastor Ken Foreman. A church full of faith, full of the Word, and full of the Holy Spirit. If you have your Bibles today, I want you to turn in the Old Testament to the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2. Habakkuk is right after Nahum and right before Zephaniah. Does that help? <laughs> Turn to the trusty index and find it. It's on page 842 in my Bible, if that helps. <laughs> Habakkuk chapter 2, beginning with verse 2. <sighs> then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets. You see Silicon Valley, God knew there were going to be tablets before Apple did. <laughs> that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Notice how declarative all of this is. But at the end it will speak. And it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. I'm preaching on the subject today. Yeah. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on, on your, your dream. dream. When the word here says vision, that can also be interpreted to mean a dream, a desire, or a destiny. God has let me know that there are people here today in Cathedral of Faith, those watching on the internet, those watching at the remote campuses and those watching around the world, that God has raised you up and he's called you forth to a great destiny. There yes. are world changers and history makers and yes. champions for Christ that are in this place today. Yeah. You haven't seen anything yet because the best is yet to come. Yes. Years ago, I was preaching at the great Mount Perrin Church in Atlanta, Georgia. And I said to the people, God has given me a prophetic word. And I turned and I pointed my finger and I said, some of you are pregnant. And I paused. You heard of the pregnant pause? But when <laughs> my finger stopped, it was pointed at three ladies in their 60s. And when I said you're pregnant and it's a prophetic word, they about fainted right there in their seat. And I completed the thought, pregnant with destiny. And I believe that same word today for people in Cathedral of Faith and those watching by way of television around the world. You are pregnant with destiny. That's right. God has got something great on the horizon for you. That's right. One of my closest friends is Pastor Joel Osteen of the great Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, America's largest church. Yes. They average 43,000 people. Yes. In. This year will be my sixth year in a row to preach at Lakewood. 
Joel's dad, the late Pastor John Osteen, was my favorite preacher on television. And he used to stand and say this often, Great it is to dream the dream when you stand in youth by the starry stream. But a greater thing is to fight life through and say at the end, the dream Can is true. true. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, don't give up on your dream. Praise God. You see, Cathedral of Faith was a dream of Pastor Kenny and Shirley Foreman. And now that dream is a reality. So God is saying, hold on. The dream is from him. And he is saying it's going to become a reality in your life. The great dreamer of the Bible was Joseph. In fact, he's Joni's favorite character in the Bible. He's mine too. Joseph was a dreamer. But yet he went through tough times. He was even betrayed by his own family. But because Joseph didn't give up on his dream, he went from the pit to Potiphar's house. Yeah. From Potiphar's house to like the my prison. Son. From the prison to the palace. And from the palace to become prime minister of Egypt. So what do we learn? Don't give up on your dream. But somebody may have messed up God's plan for your life. Maybe you've gone through a divorce. You lost your job. You even had to file for bankruptcy. And as a result, now you may feel disqualified. But let me tell you something. Not only can God qualify the unqualified, he can even qualify the disqualified. And here's the good news. That I came all the way from Dallas, Texas. Yeah. To at Cathedral of Faith today. That is this. When man messes up God's plan A for your life, God has a plan B. That's Praise God. Or better than the plan A. Yes. So don't lose hope. Yes. Don't be discouraged. Yes. You know what? The point Praise number you, one Jesus. is this. Praise you, Jesus. Winners don't quit. And quitters don't win. don't win. In other words, don't give up. The power of perseverance has been one of the three hallmarks of 40 years of ministry for me. If you don't quit, the devil can't win. And That's I'm not right. about to quit. How about you? Praise God. The legendary football coach, Vince Lombardi, of the NFL's Green Bay Packers, he won the first Super Bowl in 1967 against the Kansas City Chiefs. One of the quotes from Vince Lombardi was this, it's not whether you get knocked down. It's whether you get back up. You get back up again. Praise the Lord. Did you know he could have got that from the Bible? Because Micah 7 and 8 says, When I fall, I shall arise. What a powerful thought. <clears throat> but God doesn't look at success the way the world does. The world measures things by numbers and by dollar signs. But God measures success by faithfulness. So be the best you you can be because God made you an original. Point number two, take it one day at a time. Praise you want to know God. what the will of God is? You want to know how to find the will of God? Romans 8, 14 says, For as many Woo! as are by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So every day... As you listen to the voice of the Lord, as you're led by the Holy Spirit, and you just try to work and be in God's will for that day, every one of those days will bring you into the ultimate will and plan of God for mm -hmm. your life. So take it one day at a time. One day you know, at a time. If God were to show you everything about your life and about his great dream for your life, you would probably have one or the other of the following reactions. It might seem so big and so huge that you would be overwhelmed by fear and therefore paralyzed by fear and afraid to move forward. Or 
You could have the opposite reaction. That you could become so I'm excited and so inspired yes. that you would want to run ahead yes. of the plan of God before you were ready or before the people around you were ready. Here's a little nugget. Be sure along life's pathway that you schedule some time to dream about the future that God has planned for you. Yes, Visualize sir. it and make a plan because the old adage is if you fail to plan then you're planning to, to fail. fail. And one of the best ways to see your dream come to pass is to help somebody else with their dream. That's right. So in another person's field first. Point number three, your attitude will determine your altitude. <laughs> right or in on. other words, how high you will fly. That's you right. must be passionate about your dream. Yes. In fact, your passion is an indication of what God's dream is for you. Yes. What do you like? Yes. What do you enjoy? Family. What do you talk about? What do you think about? What are you excited about? What are you good at? Those are all indicators of what God has for you in your life. In John Maxwell's book, The Winning Attitude, he describes attitude like this. Its roots are inward, but its fruit is outward. Yeah. In other words, attitude can either be our best friend or our worst, worst enemy. enemy. Our attitude is more honest and more consistent even than our words. Right. It, attitude is the librarian of our past. It is the speaker of our present. And it is the prophet of our future. Wow. wow. Those are powerful words. The attitude of a soldier is that of a warrior. Yes. The attitude of an athlete is that of a winner. Yes. The attitude of a reaper is that of a farmer, so, one yeah. who believes in increase. But here's some good news. Get ready to shout, Cathedral of Faith, because God does not use your past to determine your future. Yeah. Just like they sang the day started. Praise years, God. The past is over, but moving forward into That's the right. of what God has called you to do. Forget the you past. You feel so inadequate. But usually it's a sign that God's dream is for you is when it's so big that you think there's no way in the world I could do that on my own. There's no <laughs> way I could accomplish that by myself. You know why God makes it so big? Because he wants you to be in a position where you have to depend totally upon him. That's and so right. he will ultimately get the glory because God said I'll share That's my right. glory. With no man. Listen to this. Zechariah 4 and 10 says, Despise not small beginnings. Your pastor said it so well. It all begins with a seed. A little tiny seed that can grow up to be an oak tree and then spawn many more acorns and many more seeds in a whole forest of trees. Okay. So if you talk small about a small place, Pastor Kurt then the small place will only get smaller. But if you talk big about a small place, then the small place gets will only bigger. get larger. I want to talk big yeah. about what God is doing. Amen. You? But you must be prepared to take risk, but only risk where you have a clear word or leading from God. That's right. Don't operate in presumption. Operate in faith and being led by the Holy Spirit. That's right. My dear friend Kenneth Copeland says, One word from God can change your life forever. That's right. After Joni and I moved to Dallas, Texas in 1990, we had built a station in Montgomery. We'd been there in Montgomery, Alabama for seven long years. We affectionately referred to it as the tribulation period. It was so tough, <laughs> but God made us, made, help us make it through. So we're trying to build a station in Dallas. We came against, up against such opposition. Oh, in fact, five legal battles of people who were either trying to steal the station or trying to prevent us from getting it built. 
And one day as the tower workers were working on building the tower, they were at the 300 foot level. And I received a phone call. And to show you despise not small beginnings, and I'm in our house, we couldn't afford even an, an office. So my office was on the, my, our closet. Uh, and the closet was three feet deep and 12 feet wide. You couldn't even sit in the chair and close the door. It was so small. And a fateful phone call came. Yeah. And they said, Marcus, I'm sorry to inform you, but two of the tower workers that were on the tower at the 300 foot level fell to the ground. Oh my gosh. And fell to their death. Oh Lord. When you receive a phone call like that, it will shake you to your very core, to your very foundation. Yes. And the devil said, it's over. The dream is going to die. No. But I began to pray and I said, God, you're the one who's called me. That's right. You are faithful who hath promised. That's right. And I give this thing over to you. Well, within an hour, another phone call came. Hallelujah. Don't believe the first report. That's Amen. right. Amen. Believe it. Report of the Lord. Amen. And the call came and said, they're not dead. We thought they were dead, but they're not. Woo! So Joni and I went to the hospital. And you know, you're thinking everything. They're going to sue everybody inside, including you. We went to the hospital, Pastor Kenny Foreman. We led one of the tower workers to the Lord and led his girlfriend to the Lord. And yeah, they sued everybody and his brother and his next door neighbor and their cat. But he didn't sue the little Lamb of God. Woo! Yeah, Hallelujah. yeah, the yeah. was not dead. Hold on to your dream. That's right. Point number four. If you want to see the Word of God, if you want to see the dream come true, then you're going to have to stand on the Word of God. So let's walk down through the pages of God's Word today. And let's see what it has to say about your dream and about your destiny. In John 1 and 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him. Yes. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was a lot of men. Yes. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehendeth it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Yes. The same came for to bear witness of the light. But he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That is the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Amen. He came into the world, and the world received him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Yes. Even to them which believed on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh. And the Word was made flesh. I said, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us yes. and we beheld his glory the yes. glory is of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth for the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ That's don't right. give up on your dream why numbers 23 19 behold God is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent hath he said it and shall he not do it hath he spoken it and shall he not bring it to pass? Psalms 27, 13, and 14. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. My favorite Old Testament verse, Psalms 91, 15. And he shall call upon me, and I right. will answer him. 
I will be with him in times of trouble. That's I right. will deliver him and I will honor him. Amen. I want to dedicate this verse to Pastor Kenny Foreman. Psalms 138 and 8. And I will perfect that which concerneth you. Don't give up on your dream. Believe the word of God. Yeah. Isaiah 55 and 11. And so shall be my word that goeth forth out of my mouth. It will not return into me void, but it will accomplish that which I please and it will prosper in the thing wherein to I have sent it. Ladies and gentlemen, I came all the way from Dallas, Texas to tell you that you don't have to put a notary public seal on the word of God for it to come to pass because Jeremiah 1 and 12 he said, for yeah. I will hasten my word to perform it. Johnny's favorite Old Testament verse is Jeremiah 29 and 11. Perhaps it's also yours. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to right. give you a future and an end. And I like to call the companion verse to that Philippians 1 and 6 which says, and being confident of this very thing that he who hath begun a good work in you will hasten or will complete it until the day of Christ. I'm preaching. Don't give up on That's your That's right. Yeah. Why? Because Matthew 24, 35 says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Somebody right. shall never. Never. My favorite New Testament verse, John 15 and 7, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, then you shall ask whatsoever you will, and it shall be done unto you. That's, That's so right. declarative. Romans 4, 20, 21, For he staggered not at the promises of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, being right. fully persuaded that what he had said he would perform it. He right. would bring it to pass. Right. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. But thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, I'm ringing a little bell in Cathedral of Faith. I think I'll ring it just a little while longer. Yeah. In Ephesians 3 and 20. Now unto him that is able. Somebody shout, he's able. He's able. He's able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we ask or think according Amen. to the power that works in us. Philippians 4, 13 you need to declare, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. I can do all and things through Christ. Philippians 4, 19, but my God shall supply all of my needs according my God to shall his riches supply and glory. All of my needs. I'll tell you, the Father's loaded. He not only owns the cattle on a thousand hills, but he owns a thousand Praise hills that God. the cattle are standing on. He owns the lakes that they drink out of. He owns the grass that they eat off of. He owns the barns that they eat out of. He owns it all. Yeah, he is amen. First <laughs> Peter 5 and 7, casting all of your care upon him, for he careth for you. I believe the promises, ladies and gentlemen. Second Corinthians 1 and 20, for all the promises of God. Somebody shout all. Oh. All. All the promises of God. All the promises him, yay, of God. And in him, amen. When I was a little boy, preachers would get to preaching in a big way. And then they'd say amen. They'd stop and get them some water. or they'll, And I thought, they're just stopping to take a break. Or they're stopping to figure out the next thing they were going to say. Until I learned that the word amen is a declarative word. The word amen means so be it. Or thus shall it be. So all the promises of God are in him. Yea, and in him, amen. Amen. So 2 Corinthians 7, 1, having therefore these promises, dearly beloved. 2 Peter 1 and 4, whereby are given unto us such exceeding great and precious promises. 2 Peter 3 and 9, for the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. 2 Timothy 1 and 12, for I know in whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hebrews 12 and 2 looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We don't look to the federal government. We don't look to our employer. We don't look to our own ability. But we look unto him that's more than enough. Yes. Finally in 2nd and 3rd John 1 and 2 
Beloved, I wish above all things that you may be in health and prosper. You remember Spock would say, live long and prosper mm -hmm. on Star Trek. Well, he's just mm -hmm. quoting from 3 John 1 and 2. That may prosper even as thy soul prospers. I want to end with this. There was a great man many years ago by the name of Kimmins Wilson. Most of you probably don't know his name. But he wanted to be in the hotel business. And his observation was that most of the hotels back then were geared towards rich people. The devil tried to discourage him with his idea. But then God said, son, look around. I've made more uh, average people than I have made rich people. Right. So you got a much bigger pool to fish out of. And so you know what he did? He started the Holiday Inn. And it became the largest hotel chain in yeah, the world. Right on. Well, Kimmins Wilson was a believer. And he had 20 tips for success. Oh, don't get nervous. I know it's time to go eat in just a moment. we got to beat the Baptist to the uh, buffet line. I love the Baptist. John was a Baptist. So I'll only share one of the 20 tips. Here it is. Opportunity comes often. It knocks as often as you have an ear trained to hear, to hear it. it. An eye trained to see it. To see it. A hand trained to grasp it. That's right. And a head to trained it. to use it. Yes. Joni and I want to come in agreement with you for your dream to come true. Matthew 18 and 19, if any two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that you shall ask, it shall be done for you, yeah. our Father, Praise which God. is in heaven. So I say once again, don't give, give up, up your on your dream. dream. I want you to stand on your feet all over this building. Maybe, Joseph, you can come to the, to the piano. In the sanctuary, in the balcony, the left and the right. Don't leave yet. Something powerful is about to take place. For all the other campuses, those watching on the internet, those watching on Daystar across America and around the world. God gave me this word for you today. You know, God is not a liar. So if God gave the word, it will surely come to, to pass. pass. Listen to me. Here you are in the Silicon Valley. You think Facebook's the only great invention? You don't think God can come up with another Yahoo or another Google? The Bible said in the last days there would be inspired ideas and witty inventions. They charge their TV. Years ago, somebody came up with a little tiny simplistic idea of a post-it note. Marcus Lamb still uses post-it notes today. <laughs> Little idea that became a multi-million dollar industry. God's got one for you. As long as he knows you'll be faithful to partner with the kingdom, the end time harvest. And if you'll make God your senior partner and say, God bless me that I can be a blessing, then God can use you in a great and mighty way. Don't give up on your dream. Martin Luther King Jr. had it right when he said, I have a dream. God's got a dream for you. And he wants it to be realized in your life. In just a few moments, Joni and the Daystar Singers will be out in the front. She'll have her book, Surrender All. She'll sign that book to you. And it reached number seven on the bestseller list. Bill O'Reilly was number six and Joni Lamb was number seven. She said, I'd rather be number seven. That's God's number. That's right. Well, the name of her book is Surrender All. And when you lift your hands up into the sanctuary, then that is the universal sign of surrender. Have you ever seen kids? They poke their finger out as an imaginary gun and they'll say, stick them up, stick them up. And buddy, you gonna stick them up. 
Because you're saying, I surrender. You're saying to God, I surrender. I, I surrender, surrender that dream. Lord. I surrender that idea. I surrender that situation that I find myself in. I surrender what's going on in my marriage, in my family, in my body, in my finances. I surrender. I give it to you. Because you're the greater one. And the greater one lives on the inside of you. I want you to lift your hands all over this building. And I want you to begin to praise the Lord. Not only is it surrender, God. but you're saying, I'm reaching up to my source. Praise I'm God. reaching up to my help. I'm reaching up to the one oh, where I'm going to gonna get what I need. That's right, Lord. Now begin to praise him. Psalms 134 and 2, 134 and 2. I will lift my hands in the sanctuary and I will bless the Lord. Come on, Cathedral of Faith, wherever you, you are, Lord. lift your hands. If you're in the bless Philippines, you, lift your hands and begin to sing Thank the high you, praises Jesus. of God. Begin to bombard praise heaven with praise. God, I'll tell you what, God can't take it. He'll come down. He'll stir things up. He'll respond. He'll react because he loves the praises of his people. Yes, praise Lord, the Lord. Lord, fill me, fill me, fill me, Lord, to overflow. Yes, fill me up. I preached recently about your secret weapon. Your secret weapon is the heavenly language of the Holy Spirit. Yes. When you pray in the Holy Spirit, the Bible says in Romans 8, 26 and 27, you are praying in the will of God. Yes. When you pray in the Holy Spirit, the doesn't know what you're saying. When you pray in the Holy Spirit, you're doing something supernatural. 1 Corinthians 14 and 2. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto man but unto God. That's right. When you pray in the Holy Spirit, it can also be a supernatural expression of praise. One word in the Holy Spirit language could be worth 10,000 words in your language. Now lift your hands and just begin to yield to the precious Holy Spirit. Praise God. Yes, Jesus. Yield to the Lord. Let open your mouth and let your tongue go and give voice yes, to whatever Jesus you're feeling on the inside mine. or whatever words or sounds he's speaking to your mind. Now he's speaking faith. Praise receive God. ye the Holy Spirit. Receive, receive ye the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Spirit. Praise it the is Lord. the power of God for today. Salvation prepares you for God heaven, but the Holy Spirit prepares you for life on this earth. Praise Be filled God. with the Holy Spirit. That's how you will see your dream come to pass when you walk in the power of the Spirit. Yes, Lord. Wave your hands and stir up the Holy Spirit. Yes, Charge atmosphere that's in this place today. Be healed. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be free you, from Jesus. any bondages in Jesus' name. Be free from any fears that are tormenting you and attacking you. Satan, be gone. Satan, Take your be hands gone. off of God's property. That's right. Take I your proclaim hands off it of in me. the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, and with the authority of God's word today, the, the greater word. one is here in Cathedral of Faith. Receive, receive, receive. Receive, I receive if you, any Lord. Sin in your life, just I ask receive you, Lord, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me for all my right sins. Now, Lord. Cleanse me right Make now, Make things Lord. right between Make you and me. Make things right between me and you. I want to ask you something. Do you love and appreciate the inspiration, the faith-filled life and ministry of your senior pastor, Ken Foreman, then if you do, give him a big God bless you. God bless he comes you, and Ken takes the service. Everybody, what a powerful word. Would you let Marcus know how much you appreciate that amazing, yes, he's awesome. amazing word? I know it spoke yeah. to me today. If you'd be seated for just a moment, yes, I'm going to ask Marcus to come back up. You know, we, we rarely do this at Cathedral of Faith, but this is one of those very unique moments where God is moving in such a powerful way through Daystar, Network 
to touch the world and change the world. Marcus, you've, you've shared some of the stories, amazing stories about how God is using the Daystar Network, not just here in the States, but around the world in amazing ways. Could you just share a couple of those things before we give? Thank you for that opportunity. A while back, I was invited by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel to come and meet with him privately at the Knesset. God had already opened the door and Daystar became and remains the only full-time Christian TV network Praise that is on all over Israel and all of the homes, including even the hotels. And as I walked into the Knesset, I had several different people who knew who I was and said, hello, Marcus Lamb. We love to watch Daystar. We're so glad Daystar is on here in our country of Israel. Folks, that's helping to fulfill in time Bible prophecy. Because Micah said, in the last days, the good news will go forth from Mount Zion. And guess where the Daystar TV studio is? It is on Mount Zion. Yes. How humbling to be a part of that. Yes. We have received many letters from people in Saudi Arabia. Did you know it's illegal to preach the gospel in Saudi Arabia? There are no Christian churches there. It is illegal to bring a Bible into Saudi Arabia. Wow. I interviewed a man who started an underground church. They found out about it. They arrested him, put him in jail, and he was going to be beheaded for preaching the gospel in Saudi Arabia. Wonderful. But God miraculously helped him to escape, just like God got Peter out of the jail when the church prayed. But we get letters and emails all the time from Saudi Arabia. Said, Dear Marcus and Joni, thank you for being on in Saudi Arabia by satellite. The government can't stop that satellite from 22,800 <laughs> miles in the heavens. Yeah. Day Star is our only church. We wouldn't be able to have the gospel if it wasn't for you. Well, it really wasn't for Joni and me that did it. It's all the faithful partners that invested as part of the end time right. harvest. They're the ones that made it possible. Uh, isn't that exciting to see what God's doing? And the Daystar singers come and share a song with us. Give them a great big welcome again as they come.